Hey everybody, it's Bill Duran here from Punish Props and I just got back from Phoenix Comic Con and had an absolute blast. I did a bunch of panels that people seemed to enjoy. Um, I made a bunch of friends, which was really awesome. And the convention staff did a fantastic job. I did, however, have one tiny incident that was a little bit unsettling. Late in the day on Sunday, a teenage guy walked up to me. He wanted to show me something. He didn't tell me what it was. He pulled out a knife and I was a little bit terrified. I didn't get hurt or anything, but after he left, I went and informed the convention security. If you'd like a full report of that incident, uh, I'll have a link to my article on punishprops.com down below. All right, so I understand being excited about a new thing or something, uh, and in the moment, trying to show that to someone else, uh, maybe another convention goer. And uh, you may think that's fun or funny or neat, or your friends might think so as well because they know you, but a stranger might find that maybe creepy or maybe a little bit frightening. So my goal with that article was to inspire con goers to rethink those decisions before interacting with people who don't know them. I posted that article and the vast majority of people seem to think that I made the right decision by going to the convention security. However, a tiny minority seem to think that I may have overreacted a little bit. Right off the bat, there is a massive difference between what you do and how you feel in the heat of the moment and how you react to some sort of incident like that afterwards, once you've had time to process what happened. It's easy to see that I was in no real danger, but that was impossible to tell in the 2.5 seconds of armor peeing fear that I felt after a blade suddenly snapped into my world. In other instances, I've had friends at conventions get groped or harassed, and they were in such shock in the moment that they didn't fully process what happened until well after the fact, when it was too late to really do anything about it. So if you are at a convention and another attendee is doing something that you think is creepy or scaring you a little bit or a friend or you might think is kind of dangerous, go talk to security right away. Find a security staff member, thoroughly explain what happened, and if you can, point out the individual in question, especially if you're not sure if it's the sort of thing that would require them to take action. Let the security staff decide uh, what the best course of action is. That's their job. They can take a fair, objective look at the situation, question all parties involved, and make an informed decision. In my case, they probably would want to know where that kid got the knife, and if him and the vendor were following the strict rules concerning the sale of weapons on the convention floor. That, by itself, is worth talking to convention staff about. Does that mean that you're running off and tattling on someone, or you're being a, a scaredy pants? Nope. Not at all. You are just doing your part to make sure that the convention is a safe, welcoming place for you to spend your weekend. Now, especially, don't be a tough guy, all right? It's not your job or obligation to deal with an uncomfortable situation at a convention. Again, that's why they hire security staff. Even if you're a bigger dude and you're not supposed to be scared of a little guy with a knife, do not confront the individual yourself, especially a stranger. That is exactly how really bad convention incidents happen. I mean, a couple of years ago at San Diego Comic-Con, there was an altercation and a dude got stabbed in the face with a pen. Crazy things happen when us humans get our tempers up. Have you ever had an uncomfortable experience on the convention floor? Did you or didn't you tell the security staff about it? If you're willing to share your story, I want to hear about it. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching and go have a good safe time because it's convention season and I'm excited to get out there and cosplay some more.